Hey you guys, it's Sarah from Noe. I hope you're doing well. What's the number one thing everyone's talking about right now? How do we reopen America? How do we restart our economy? What this looks like is going to be really dependent on the state, the county, and the city that you live in. What we wanted to do at Noe was provide you guys with the three most commonly used projection models that federal, state, county, and city officials are looking at to really help guide decision making in terms of how do we reopen up our businesses, schools, parks, etc. I wanted to take you guys through the Columbia COVID-19 forecast model because I find it particularly interesting because you can play around with the numbers based on the number of social contact reduction. So if you look at my screen right now, you'll see that I have the social contact reduction at 40%. And so this estimates that we'll start at about 2,200 deaths per day. That was back in April 27th. And this will slowly decrease and get down to something like, you know, 475 deaths per day uh, by mid-June. But what if we change this and make the social contact reduction only 20%? What does that do to the numbers? Well, what it does is actually pretty scary. You see a huge increase in the rate of cases. You see a huge increase in the rate of deaths per day, likely 33 or 3,400 by the beginning of June, as well as hospitalizations and ICUs. Why is this information really important for us to be looking at? It's important for us to look at because the incubation period of COVID-19 can be up to 14 days. It might also take an additional five to six days for someone to obtain testing and also to seek medical treatment. We are going to have to keep very, very close tabs on the number of COVID-19 cases and the deaths per day to let us know if the measures that we are engaging in in allowing certain businesses to open up are effective or ineffective. I think we also all have to be ready for the fact that if we have a really big spike in cases and a big spike in deaths, we're likely going to have to pull back a little bit to make sure that we can maintain the safety of all Americans in the midst of also trying to re-energize our economy. We're committed to being totally transparent at NOE, so we've provided for you, and you can see at the bottom of my screen, a data access API and an API guide so you can understand where we source this data and you can look at the raw data yourself. We're going to continue to update our data hub to make sure that it is full of relevant database information regarding COVID-19. We, like you, are tired of sitting at home and we also want to get our hair done, but at the same time, we want to protect everyone in the United States. So we'll be looking at these projections closely. We will be hoping that our county and city and federal officials will continue to look at science and data to guide decision making. And we'll definitely be wearing a mask outside, so you do the same. Stay well, everybody. Bye.